Okay, so in overview tutorials, we look on some materials, but it's hard to remember sometimes till you start working. So what I want to do is just created a terrain. And let's a uh, little bit play with the material editor, we'll work on some functions and see what we can utilize. So right now I'm creating a couple terrains. Okay, I'm going to um, actually reset and added peaks to them. Okay, actually right here was my... Okay, this is one. Let's look a little bit better. Okay, that will be my um, distance kind of far away looking. Okay, and we'll take this terrain and we'll be Control Z, so it will be a little bit closer look. Here we'll take camera. Let's reposition so we can preview a little bit better. Okay, we'll go out with this point. I'm just covering so we can, when we start rendering, okay, let me edit this terrain as well. And what I'm going to do, it's a reset, create peaks, but I want to apply effects. So I'm going to increase the bit quality, going in effects and just add some dissolve effect. Normal, what I can do, I can go inside the paint and apply effect, but I want to do this from our material editor. So we have the main camera. Yeah, right here we have it preset. Let's go open first terrain and we'll go in advanced material editor. Right here is our base material that will underline everything. So normal I'm going and I will select something that um, can use like gray mountain rocks. So it will apply to all of this material. And next what I want to do, I want maybe applying some of the grass and patches. For this we'll go create a new layer. We'll say it grass. And now we'll go inside the environment tab. And right here we can control altitude, um, slope and constraint. So I want to create grass maybe a lower on a right here between this crack. So I don't want to create on a flat and I want to create a little bit below. And you remember we have it highlights. So what I want to do, I want I like to use it highlights for this reason. Okay, we'll just adjust right here. And you can preview instantly where it's applying. So we can kind of see, okay, it's right here. So I'll increase effect. So this is about right. Um, I want to add a little bit fuzziness on the top. So it's add this smooth transition, kind of not very harsh. Okay, and also set to the zero for my grass. So let's go ahead and render. Okay, and you notice right here I placed my grass in those areas. That's why I want it. Okay, by the controlling. As well, let's look on the bump and I want to add to my gray materials to the bump. I don't want it um, to replace it, so it's add kind of bumps material. As well, look, my scale is 500 and world standard, so it's very high. I'm going down to one. And you'll see it is, okay, let me disable that one. I'll preview it's add more details. So it's look a little bit better this way. Okay, next, we're creating this. We can create next ecosystem. So we'll go inside and we'll add a plant. So right here, GG lime tree. So we'll go ahead and add that one. Okay, so we created ecosystem. Next, we can, if we populate, you notice it's populating all over, but I want control. I don't want them going inside these cracks. I want them populating maybe on the top. For this, we'll go inside the presence. And you notice when we create layer, it's take our layer settings before. So let's do this way. We'll increase to the top. Reduce fastness. Also, as well, I want to populate 
on a flat, not on a steep ones. So we'll go right here. Let's click populate and it's start populating a little bit right on top. I want empty see my um, kind of mountains at this point. So we'll go move population to the top. And next we want to do reduce scaling so a little bit and maybe increase density. You'll notice in ecosystem we have a variable density additional options. This is a little bit different for the um, in advanced materials. So we're going to increase, let's click populate, see what we have it. Okay, and you know what? Maybe gonna drop even lower. Okay, around here. A little bit more on a flat. So right here we kind of have a population again. Let's preview, see what we have it so far. And we have a nice populations going around this area. Okay, next what we can do, we can create um, additional ecosystem layer. Okay, let's add rocks and I'll just have it rough rocks. We'll add those ones and populate them maybe um, some around this area again. We can populate on a flat or a lower level so we'll go to the presence and again it took our grass setting so I'm going preset right now. Let's populate an overview. This should create a lot of rocks all over cover. Again this is just example but I want to control them so for this I need to go inside density, reduce density. Let's maybe increase scaling and in the presence I don't want them be on a slightly bit more on a flat ones. Okay, let's populate. It will should drop them significantly. Way less. So we have the rocks around here. And you know what? Let's maybe even take more density down. Okay, we're gonna go click preview. Okay, take a second till it's preparing file. Okay, so we have it, rocks populating one thing. I noticed rocks they kind of populating on top. To create the more natural look, I want them populating just a little bit below surface. So for this one, we'll go in a minus dot three meters. So it's 30 centimeters. Let's see how well they will right here they're going. As well on a scaling, we can just increase a little bit more. So we won't have it. And you know what density, let's even have it less of them. Let's click preview. Okay, that is look kind of in nice. And next what I want to apply to this, it is add a water layer. So we can go and bring closer to the rocks. Okay, let's go modified. We'll go to default water. Again, this is material, so a bit different. And in transparency, what we looked before, we'll work with the depth. So we'll add a little bit more depth to our water but enough so I can see some rocks right here okay and we'll go inside the bumps and reduce bumps as well let's click OK we reduce overall scale for our material let's preview okay so right here we have our material applied it's some nice water rocks going inside Let's work on a back terrain and for that one I'm just going to select one with little bit snow. So if we look inside we can see we are using a mix materials and it's actually a nested mix material. So we have one mix the material between grass and sand right here. Which I want maybe going more to the ground. Okay and next we also have it mix materials with the I see I want to reduce a little bit of this. So right here you can see it. Let's click OK and preview. So we applied. 
Okay, we already can see how we modify these nice materials to this. Uh, next, let's go take our sun and just slightly move so we have it right here, maybe a little bit shadows kind of applied. And let's bring slightly down. Okay, create like golden hour and I want to create this little bit glowing going over plants. We'll go inside the atmosphere editor. Light will enable global reality. We'll take ambient light, make it desaturated so it will bring us the sunset colors a little bit more. Okay, in our image, we'll go to the clouds and just add dark camels. Let's make them a little bit lighter with increasing density and a little bit pop up on the details, reduce cover, so it will kind of covering, will go inside the sky and on the sky I want to create a little bit darker, so we'll go edit and add saturation, a little bit darker saturation to our and let's increase fog and as well how I say I used quite a bit of aerial perspective, so we add aerial perspective, it's give it us this distance haze, give it us feeling right here like some distance going um, but we need to be careful to control between ground fog and haze because the ball will kind of affecting and we start losing some details which maybe I don't want to lose in that case uh, global let's reduce a scattering effect and increase a little bit decay and right here options so we can go preview. Okay, it's like second till refreshing. Um, next, we can increase quality set list to the zero, so our clouds won't be that grainy. So we'll use this way. Okay, right here we have the lights applying. Okay, we can go click preview right now. So. And it's already start looking about right, except I don't like this straight line right here. So I'm going cancel. I'll click OK. Take my first terrain and nice things because with ecosystem it's all get there. I'm going to rotate, bringing this closer to the camera. Okay, we'll readjust a little bit this way. Bring maybe even more. So we have it. Kind of going preview like right here. You can see we have a nice shape going and it's add a little bit more dimension to this area so water won't be look just straight line. We kind of start going into our effect and let's take this terrain and maybe move even a little bit more far away. So we have it kind of more on a distance, doesn't take too much attention from what we're creating. Okay, this way we'll take main camera, position just slightly so I can review how it's look, maybe move a little bit away and a little bit up. So we can balance and preview nice clouds on our effect so it's look nice let's say this terrain maybe a little bit too far away so we'll bring just a bit closer kind of position and again I'm looking and preview it's look nice I think we're ready so let's go ahead um, bring our sun a little bit down see how we'll bring a little bit more on a golden hour with the shadows well, next right click will set on a final render and I'm going to render a little bit higher resolution so we can preview better. Click OK. I'm going to render this image right now and pause tutorials and we'll come back to the tutorial after render is completed. Okay, so right here we finish render. Let's open. And you can see we have it a nice scenery created with using ecosystem and also okay, as well was using materials distribution right here on a hill. 
and creating some distance materials. Overall, you can see with a not very long work, you can create a nice, beautiful scenery inside the view. Thank you for watching this tutorial, Geek at Play Studio. Please remember visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com.